Hi, and welcome to the City of Irvine's online plan submission portal. This tutorial video is going to talk to you about the resubmittal of plan check corrections. Go ahead and log in here. You'll see the two-step authentication. You can submit and answer the questions or hit ask later. On your dashboard, you're going to find document submittal recommendations. Let's go ahead and just review those before we start the submittal process. Scroll down to resubmittals. Um, the resubmittals will only be uploaded via GoPost. Resubmit only the plans that have changed. Um, as you'll see in the video, that includes plans that have the red triangle with an exclamation point next to them. If one of the approved plans has changed due to corrections, uh, you can, of course, go ahead and upload that as well. We're going to want to use the exact same file name. Uh, don't reorder your plan sets. If you have new pages, go ahead and put those at the end of the document. Um, when you're removing those pages, replace with a blank page and indicate that page was deleted or moved. The other option is just to put a big red X through that page and hit the word uh, omit as well. Um, and it says down here, rearranging, and extracting, or inserting pages out of order will result in delays for completing your plan check review. So just some things to keep in mind. Your pending projects, as of course, are the projects that have not yet been submitted or accepted by the city of Irvine. We scroll down. We're going to come to the project we're going to work on today. You'll notice the status says resub. Uh, it's our trickle down fountains and pools. So we'll click on the link here. Now, if for some reason you have not received your email for plan check corrections, but you know you do have corrections, you can always log into your project, go to the deliverables tab, and just click on the zip file, and it'll have your plan check corrections list, as well as the plan documents that need to be corrected. As you can see here on the documents tab, under the plans, we have this red triangle with an exclamation point. This means that this plan must have a new version uploaded. If for some reason, um, due to corrections, you've answered in the narrative and the plans haven't changed, you still need to upload a version, but go ahead and upload the most recent version that you do have. So we're gonna click on upload new version. We're gonna go to mechanical sheets, open, and process. Now, once that upload button comes up, just go ahead and click on it. And that will change that red triangle to a little clock symbol here. We're going to do the same with our structural sheets. And again, process. And once that upload button comes up, we'll go ahead and just click on that. We'll change the symbol here. Now, if you have additional plan sets that are required by your plan checker, um, you can always just use this Upload Files button. The last thing we're going to want to do as far as uploading plans or documents is upload our corrections list. So we'll browse Files, go to our Correction Responses. You'll see that that came over to the plan side. We want to just use the Action button and slide that over to Attachments. We'll hit process. And once it processes your uploads, it'll take you to this page. We'll hit submit. You'll see here that your status changed from resub to pending. If you'd like, you can go through your project and make sure that your plan's uploaded in the correct location and check our attachments for our response list. And that's it. Your resubmittal is complete. Uh, city staff has been notified that you have uploaded corrections and will process accordingly. Thank you for watching.